Hello, my viewers. My name is Rumene Payon with the Sunday, and I welcome you all to my channel on PU4 More Academies. It's all about the academy that goes with my own professional experience in the industry. Now, in my presentation today, we will be looking at 22 density. In this density, there is no MC. Then how? Most people produce 22 density with the methylene chloride. Bearing in mind that if they use only water alone to blow, the foam will not be okay or the foam would burn. And that is uh, incorrect. You can make 22 density without a MC. You can also make 22 with a MC. But looking at the property, the properties of the foam will not be the same, okay? But it all depends on your costing, okay? Parameters, okay? So in this case, we are going to make this 22 density, showing you how to make this 22 without a filler. So in this case also, we will not know filler. You see but it can also be done by incorporation of filler 10 percent 20 percent 15 percent etc okay so it's all depend on the property you want and what your customer want but for the sake of this uh, presentation i'm going to do a different thing though my previous video also uh uh, show how calcium is being incorporated in part per hundred or for polyol. So in this case, uh, polyol here will be 100. You know this now by this time. Remember, we are not including methylene chloride here. And when you choose polyol, the next thing is water. Okay? Water blown formulation. So the density of this foam, we are going to use water here to control the density rather than using water and MC. Okay, those are the two methods. You can produce foam without MC, but you cannot produce foam without uh, water because water is a cheap blowing agent, whereas methylene chloride is a auxiliary blowing uh, agent. So in this case, we want to make a 22 density. Now, in this 22 density, I take water at 4.6, 4.6, okay? Now, 4.6, the next thing, we choose our TDI. So, TDI, it consumes in two ways, 100 part of TDI or 100 part of polyol is equal to now let assuming this formulation or this polyol has OH group of 42 with 15% eh, solid eh, content that is the properties of this polyol this is uh, clearly stated okay in the raw material safety data sheet so we use this hydroxide value 42 times uh, 0 0.155 okay then water that's one part of water in respect to this will be 4.6 times 9.67 we work it out we work it at 42 times 0.155 that give me 6. Point, I mean sorry yes yeah, 6.51 40.6 times 9.67. This gave me 44.48. Okay, plus 6.51. This gave me 51 approximately. So in this case, our TDI here is what 51. Permit me to clean this. So it's 51. But this 51 means at 100, 
So I will take my index because there's no MC. I don't want the exiting temperature to be too high. I will take my index as 1.0. Eight or nine, so fifty-one times one point zero nine. So the total TDI here in the formulation is going to be fifty-six. Fifty-six. Let me take fifty-six. Fifty-six. That's the TDI. Then the tin catalyst here zero point. One or two. A mine, I need zero point three. Then silicon give me one point one. So this is how uh PU form formulation without MC is being a setup or design. Now if I want to carry out laboratory analysis of this form, you take this. This is part PPH. You take this value to grams. Okay, this will give you 1000. This will give you 46. This will give you 5670 grams. Okay, already the unit is here. This is 2 mil. This is 3 mil. And this is uh, 11 mils. Okay. You need to test run it at the laboratory scale to check whether it will give you a density of 22. If yes, take it to the last scale. If no, make some adjustment. So this is how to design PU for uh, PU form formulation without a methylene chloride. What it means here. Though the exiting temperature will still be, the gas loss will still be generated. Okay? But if you want to calculate the gas loss here, that will be 2.44 times 4.6. So the gas loss will give you 2.44 times 4.6. The gas loss is 11.2 times 100. 100 divided by 100 when 100 100 polio is used times 1 so 11.2 times 1 give you 11.2 so one part of this that is one part of this equal to and third is two part of this will be times two three part of this will be times three of this so this is how um the you form formulation without mc it's been a set up but if you are adding mc in the total uh, formulation that is to say this 4.2 this 4.2 will now give you the total blowing agent so it will make up of water and a uh, mc so as long as two parameters is contained the, pro the entire property of this form is going to change okay but this is just uh, a guiding uh, principle i keep saying do not try it because this is the theoretical calculation and you know as an uh, expert in the field there are certain variables that you do not have you are only use using a professional uh, experience in a theoretical uh form to present this so if you want to go into real practical you have to take note of certain variable in your factory uh, location okay there's what we call the attitude of the factory uh, location some of those atmospheric uh operational condition affect foam density especially the width of water so one need to establish it before you can because you can choose this okay the density will far far below you can choose this the density will be a bit higher but that is why i keep saying when you finish the theoretical aspect of it go into the laboratory scale before you go into 
a larger scale uh, manufacturing uh, process. I hope this is very, very uh, interesting. Therefore, continue to like my page on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. The subscription is free. So this is Academy that works, something that will help you. Okay, I believe by so doing, you should be able to know two things here, how to calculate the index and how to design a PU for formulation without a MC by one. You look at your poly or 100, then you determine your blowing agent. The next thing you choose your TDI using your part per 100 of that water to calculate how much CDI the unit in that formulation at 100, then you increase your index because even the index, there is a limit to which you can go. In my subsequent, in my subsequent uh, presentation, we shall look at how to calculate the TDI index limit just to safeguard your formulation so that the exotherm temperature generated will not be much. Okay? Those kind of foam, if you cut it, you are going to see a brownish coloration at the center of your foam, telling you that something is not balanced. Then you have to correct it. Most of the times, it's a high index because you have this perception that you want to make the foam at the end. You destroy the mechanical properties of the foam. Thank you. Bye-bye.